So the first week was entirely optional. Uh, last week was our first week proper. Uh, that was great. And um, we're into the second week now. The boys look really good. They're, uh, they're eating up everything we give them, so it's been, uh, it's been great. In the gym, we're very much in the strength phase. This is the time to lay down that work, um, put on a little bit of lean mass and get the, boys, uh, get the boys as strong as we possibly can. And from that, we'll go into a power development block after these four weeks. Um, other, other than that, we're focusing hard on speed. We're hitting that first. Um, we've got, the, as I say, the big strength blocks and then conditioning games to try and to try and push that aerobic fitness as hard as we can. So the conditioning games are to build that aerobic fitness, that ability to repeat efforts, um, but they're done in a sort of rugby specific way. So whilst the guys are building physiology, they're also practicing their skills under fatigue and um, improving their decision making ability as, as well as getting fit. You've been impressed with the guys there? So yeah, really impressed. A lot, lot of lads look good. Um, some of the new guys look great. I think uh, Mark Flanagan's come in and um, it looks like he's been really, really working hard since he finished his season with Bedford. Um, uh, Ali Crosdale and Ben Earl, two of our new recruits, look great. And then a few returning guys. Um, I think Scott Sperling looks in, looks in really good condition. And Al Hargreaves also looks like he's, um, he's worked really hard over the summer. So I'm excited to see how those guys go.